Charles. Oh, I got a lead for taking an educational trip to Cuba. Oh, Cheryl, it may have to wait a few years until my son is out of school, but I've uh, been looking for non-NGO leads for about 10. Awesome, Cheryl. Cheryl, you will love the agriculture, uh, lifestyle, food, growing, uh, gardening lifestyle in Cuba. Because in the 1990s, just a quick history, just a one aspect history of uh, Cuba right the uh, when the USSR fell right Cuba was the sugar basket of the USSR right so they used to grow a lot of sugar canes and stuff like this provide sugar to US you know Eastern Bloc countries right when USSR fell Cuba went through a serious economic crisis the same way uh, USSR did in the 1990s right serious hard fucking times right and the Cuban government I you know tyrannical centralized it goes against what I like right but one thing they rolled out right they built community gardens everywhere so people would be fed right so I went to Cuba five times in the 1990s and I saw the progression of the gardening lifestyle the, the community farming kick in to Cuba it was fucking magnificent and because they couldn't get their hands on pesticides everything was done organically like it, it was organic before organic was organic right like the whole fucking country became organic because they couldn't get pesticides right so they were controlling pests and on their crops in Cuba like food crops and tobacco and everything with spiders right I learned a little bit about this back then but I've forgotten most of it right it was inspiring inspiring right mm. Cheryl says yeah that's what I want to see plus the cars beaches and food aren't too shabby all 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 of those amazing the beaches uh, I met people that had traveled the world back then and they said Cuba has some of the greatest beaches in the world the cars were magnificent old school American classics everybody's a mechanic in Cuba everyone could fix their cars they, 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 they would jerry-rig it and the car would run amazing right and the food oof, as long as you're not eating in you know hotel restaurants some of the hotel restaurants would have been good but people's homes and stuff like this so good so good so good I don't know what it's been like now I haven't been there for 20 22 23 years now I guess right but back then, magnificent.